Hey guys, Ed here. Today we have this 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. And in this quick video, I'd like to show you how to take off your rear bumper in this minivan. So let's start. Okay, so uh, open the trunk. And what we're gonna start with, we're gonna remove our tail lights. That's the first thing we're gonna do to remove the bumper. So for that, uh, you have to get, what is this, T, T30. T30 uh, screwdriver and there will be two screws here I hope you guys can see it here and here uh, these two screws hold down the tail light uh, and there will be a clip we have to get out in order to take the bumper out so we'll have to get that clip out so we're gonna do the same thing on both sides so let's do this okay once we have two screws out uh, it's time for us to, to take out the tail light um, it, it should wiggle and using two hands you can actually but don't force it to the side just pull it towards yourself so it's better to use two hands so I'm gonna push you guys here and show you so just take two hands and just pull here we're gonna have a connector that we have to disconnect just grab a screwdriver Put it in here and let's get this out. And then we have to pull the red pin to the back and get the screwdriver in here. Get it in here and after that you should be able to, to disconnect. Connect. Okay, so after this, we're just gonna set aside our bulb, uh, our pellet, and do the same side on the other side. All right. Once we have uh, both tail lights out, so here are the clips I was talking about. It's right here. So just take the screwdriver, raise it up. Like this. And once you can grab it with your fingers, just you can add it just using your hand. Ah, can't. I need to get some pliers. Okay, for for instance, I can use this one. And just get this out. Okay, and set it aside. Same thing here. So get them out. Okay. Next step. Um, over here, we're gonna have one, two, three four screws it's going to be eight millimeter so i'm taking i'm getting a ratchet small ratchet like this and i'm going to get all four screws out now all right so now do the same thing on the other side same four screws all right once you have four screws out over here we should uh, move this liner to the side and here you guys nope okay, okay so now over here you have this 10 millimeter bolt you have to get it out same thing both sides all right once you have those two 10 millimeter screws out okay so now we have to get six screws out one two three four five six ten millimeter get it out okay now uh, once we have the screws under the car out again t30 and get out these two bolts and so oh, this one this screw both sides okay so now we should be able to unclip uh, the bumper from the car and so i'm gonna try to do now okay i think it's, it's gonna be easier if you're gonna grab a screwdriver and try to dis uh, disconnect bumper from the fender there's a gap you can get it just get the screwdriver in and help out the bumper okay and then once you have a little bit loose you should go up easier
see it, uh, these good pins, they go inside in here, these gaps. They go in here and uh, these pins are holding them down. So sometimes it's uh, easier to uh, move, a, move with a screwdriver, move the pin a little bit down so it's easier to get it out. All right, so further, we have to do, we have to put some, a little bit more force. All right, here we go. Okay, go everything. So here we're gonna have to, see this pin here? It's inside, so we're gonna take a screwdriver. to do this okay that's it one thing over here we're gonna have a connector and we're gonna have to disconnect it so hit the gray piece down Okay, disconnect the connector. What we have to do, we have to get the gray piece down here. Get this piece over here. Goes down. We'll use a screwdriver. And once you did that, just get your screwdriver in here. And then you should be able to unclip the connector. Same thing on the other side. The other side, the red piece goes down. This, and same way, putting screwdriver in, and we'll be able to unclip the connector. All right, so here we have the bumper. That's it. All right, guys. So putting everything back on is same exact reverse procedure. So how do we do this? We can put the bumper back on. First of all, we're going to connect the connectors, then put the bumper back on and we're going to start, we're going to clip it back on and put the screws we took out, put them back in. Okay, so the bumper is almost on. From here we're just going to put it in, clip it in. Same thing here. Make sure don't over force it. If it doesn't go back in, it means it's not aligned properly. You have to align it. Okay, I have a problem here. I'm just gonna... So now everything nice and aligned over here. Nice. And let's go here, put the top on first. Okay, just a little by little, you'll be able to... It's hard to do this with one hand, otherwise no problem. Okay, okay guys, so just put everything back on put the screws back in the ones you took out and that's it that's the whole procedure okay guys hope this helps if it does please press like button and have a great day bye